Okay, so we're ready to do our trub now. We're going to take off the trub jar and we're going to put on a new sanitized jar to collect the yeast for the secondary. Um, so we're going to start by closing the valve. Taking this jar off. I read a lot on the forum that you need to have a bowl underneath for everything else that's going to be happening. So we're going to get a bit of spillage when this is cool. Look at all that crap. Excellent. Okay, so I've gone ahead and re-sanitized the jar. I've put some sanitizer on the thing. I'm going to pour this out now. And we're going to put the wide mouth mason jar back on. And I'm going to do this without any liquid or boiled water or anything like that because everything I've read has shown that that little bit of oxygen really isn't going to make much of a difference and it's probably going to blow off right away anyway. So, that said, let's open up this valve and see what happens. There we go. You can see all the airlock activity now. That's gone ahead and shaken up what's left of the krausen and proteins on top. And I think we're all good. You can already see how all that leftover particles and the dead yeast have already started to settle down. And we've started our secondary now without any additional steps. Cool. Thank you.